time it is about the voice assistant that we have on Android phones. So in this video, I'm going to share some tips. Hey guys, I'm Avil back again with another video. This time it is about the voice assistant that we have on Android phones. So in this video, I'm going to share some tips and tricks for using Google's voice assistant. And the credit of this video goes to one of my viewers, Dave. And Dave asked me a question. So Dave, if you're watching this video, uh, really, I'm really grateful to you. Really thanks. Because of this question that you've asked, I've decided to make this video. So I hope this answer will be there in this video. And uh, I'll be also sharing some other tips and tricks. So before we start, if you're new to my channel, then do hit the subscribe button. And if you have already subscribed, then a big thank you to all of you guys. So let's get started. The question that they've asked me is that how to change uh, the language setup in Google, you know, Google Voice Assistant, because in, in India, by default, it comes with, uh, you know, the language setup that is Indian English, right? So how to do it? It's very simple. If you have updated to Pi, uh, you can tap here on the Google bar. You can see the Google icon there. You just tap it here and then more options here. Okay. Then it will take you to this window where you can find this option that is settings. Okay. Here you can see settings. Tap here and then you have this option okay the window so the same thing can be done in a different way how to do it let me show you if you just swipe it from this left side and then tap on these three vertical dots okay and then you have these option that is settings so there also you will get the same options now go to google's assistants and then you have this column assistant there you have this option called languages tap here Okay, when you tap here, you can see that the default language is English India. So you can change it here. Okay, so what you can do now, uh, set it to English United States here. Okay, so when you change the language, uh, it will show you this message that assistant on your phone will use these languages and English India, the device system language okay so if you just want to use particularly only one language that is english us or english english uk so in that case what do you have to do you have to change the system language to do that what do you have to do go to settings okay and there you have this option system there you will find languages and input here you just have to click here then you have to add a language there okay so default languages english india then you have to scroll down and select english there you have this option united states okay then you have added a different language here now if i say that you know i just want to use english united states then what you have to do you have to remove one here okay tap on these three vertical dots remove then remove the language that you don't want to use suppose english india remove okay done now if you go back to go back to that window again uh, google assistant just swipe it there tap here settings google assistant assistant language so now here you can see that the message is gone now because the system language is now english united states so i believe that this way you can change the accent also because it will or, you know completely change the overall language setup here okay so i believe this should help you know this should help actually now let me show you other trips and tricks uh, like that uh, what are the other tips that you can use with google assistant let's start okay now again go there settings then google assistant the first column is personal info right so first is nickname so what is there let's see now you can see that the Google Assistant will call you by this name. Suppose if I play it, the default Thank name you. is Havil, right? So if I want to change it, what I can do here, okay, change the name. So this way you can change the name by which, you know, uh, by what uh, your assistant will call you. Next thing is your places. It is actually really a helpful uh, option, I would say, because the Google Assistant will actually remember your address. Suppose I have set it uh, like home address. Now, how does it work? Let me show you. Okay, Google. If I, you know, when I say okay, Google, because there are certain changes, like I change the language, so it will ask you again for the setup. Okay. After that, you're ready to go. Continue. Now, if I say, okay, Google, take me to home. All 
right, home. Let's go. So as you can see that, it has started the map, okay? And it will show me the paths to my home because I've already set the address there, right? So it's a really cool feature, I would say, because uh, you can set the address there. Let me show you again. And you can also set your, you know, work address. Let me show you that. Your places here, add work address. So there you just have to search your place of work and you have to set the address there. So if you say just, you know, okay, Google, take me to office, uh, then it will take you to that place. Okay, it really helps because suppose if you were, you know, you're somewhere else and uh, you just want to, don't want to search the location, you just say, okay, Google, take me to home and it will take you to your home. Okay, the map is really useful with it. Okay, so if you use maps, then it is a really good feature for you. Now, next thing is actually, uh, it is also really good because it will help you to take, you know, routes. Like if you, um, you know, take any particular route and uh, you want to use map, then it will automatically set the preferences. Like, you know, how do you go to work most of the day? So automatically, suppose if you take, drive a car or take a public, you know, transport, walk, bike, whatever. So it, accordingly, it will show you the options, the directions. Similarly, for other places, you can set other options also. Suppose um, when you go to office, you drive a car and normally when you go somewhere else, you take a public transport. So you set it here and it will show you the transport, you know, road accordingly. So I believe this is a really good feature. Okay, you can use it. Next thing is your people. It is also really good. Here, what you can do, you can set the name of your family members. Okay, suppose I have set my wife's name. How does it work? Let me show you. Okay, Google, call my wife. Calling Swati Ganakar, mobile. So here you can see that it had it has actually dialed my wife's number. So how to add other family names, right? Let me show you that. Settings, Google Assistant, your people. Okay, now you just have to tap here, remember a family member. Okay, now you sure, just have to just say, say something like the name of your name family Carol, member. And I'll remember it. Okay. My mother's name is Mom. I couldn't find a contact named Mom. So Can you tell me your mother's you name have to speak again. To make sure I got it right? My mother's name is Mom. Okay, in order to remember that mom is your mother, I've created a new contact named mom. So here you can see that you have to make sure that you make the pronunciation properly. And another thing is, which is really, really important is that the contact name in your phone app should be the same that you are setting here. Okay, now it will remember that my mother's number is, you know, saved with the name mom. Let me show you that. Okay, Google, call my mother. Which number do you want to call? For example, you can say the first one. First one. Calling mom, mobile. Okay, why it has asked me? Because uh, there are two numbers, right? So if there is only one number, it, it, it is actually going to simply dial the number. Okay, so it's really good, I would say, because uh, it is a shortcut that you can create here. Now let me show you the other option. Okay, the payment uh, payments options are not available in India right now. It's not working now, so there is no point in discussing that. Weather, it's a very simple option. You just can set the units here, the temperature units. Next thing is reservation. It is actually really, really useful, I would say. Why I'm saying that it is useful? Because whatever reservations that you make, uh, like uh, flights, trains, you know, that will actually will be recorded here and you can keep a track of these things here so it's really good i would say because sometimes we may have to remember when did we actually you know make any particular reservation so you can check it here you can keep a track of all the reservations done by you obviously you have to do it online okay next thing is also really cool feature because uh, here you can keep a track of all the purchases done by you okay like Amazon, Flipkart, whatever the online sites that you have and you know buying, you can keep a record of it here. It is automatically recorded here. Okay, so these are really cool feature I would say. Now next is assistant, right? Languages we have already done. 
assistant voice, you can change the voice here, right? By default, it is red. Let me show you this. Here are the voices you can pick for your Google Assistant. Now, if you like voice and want me to keep so different voices are there. Here. I like this one, the, uh, the Sian one. If you like this voice okay. and want me to keep using it, just stop here. Okay, you just have to stop here and it will be set like that. Okay, now next thing is continued conversation. It's a really, really cool feature. You can talk to your uh, assistant and you can have a continuous conversation. You just have to turn this on and let me show you how does it work. Okay. Okay, Google. Where is the Taj Mahal? The address for Taj Mahal is Dharmapuri, Forest Colony, Tajinj, Agra, Uttar Pradesh, 282001. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. How long will it take to reach there from my place? With light traffic, it will take 16 hours and 56 minutes to drive from home to Taj Mahal. Okay, Google. What is special about this place? According to UNESCO World Heritage Center. So here you can see that uh, I'm not, uh, you know, um, saying the name again and again, but still Google, the assistant can actually uh, take the reference from the first, you know, speech. So that is a really good feature. You just have to do one thing. Just go to Google Assistant settings, Google Assistant and then Assistant, then continue with conversation. You have to do it here. Okay, so turn this on and you can talk to it uh, continuously. You can do also, you know, some stupid conversation if you want to kill your time there. Okay, now this voice match is actually the option that uh, you can, you know, match with uh, other devices, okay, or people. You can add other people, but you have to set up the IDs here. So it is better for those people who have, you know, who have actually a lot of Google devices, Google Home appliances are there. So it is for them, okay, not uh, for someone who doesn't have any Google devices, those who use Google Home app, okay. So I won't talk about it because I don't have any devices now. Now routines, uh, it is also really good, okay. Suppose in the morning, what do you do when you go to bed? What do you do? Okay, so let me show you. Suppose bedtime. Okay, so here you can set the actions that you want your assistant to do. Like, uh, set me uh, one thing like um, um, you want to set the alarm whenever you go to bed. So what do you have to do? Simply set here, ask what time the alarm should be set for. Now, if I say, okay, Google, good night. What time should I set the alarm for? 7.30. Good night, Habil. So you can see that it, it works really fine. Okay, so you just have to say that 7.30, the alarm will be set like that. Okay, now, other thing about after that routines, voice assistant, Google, then assistant. Okay, as I said, um, email updates. It's also a really good feature because you can simply tell your assistant to show your recent emails like, okay, Google, Show me my recent emails. Here's what I found in your Gmail. Right? So you can check all the emails that you have actually received. So that's a really good feature, I would say. It takes uh, just a second to do it. So it's really good. You can use it. Next thing is actually, let me show you again. Settings. Assistance. Email updates done. The last option is phone. <laughs> okay, this option is actually to turn off the Google Assistant. How to turn off the Assistant? If you tap here, and you just have to turn this off, and the Assistant will not work, it will stop. Okay, so that is one thing that you can do. There are a lot of features, I would say, but uh, actually I haven't gone, you know, gone through all the features. But if I come across any particular feature, then I will let you know, sure. Now, you know, services, what you can do here, you can set um, default services like music. If I, if I say that I want to listen to some music, so if I ask my Google Assistant to play a particular song, so which app it should use, you can set it here. Suppose if you want to use YouTube, select YouTube here. Okay, you can use other apps also if you have installed them. Okay, so that is also really good. Next thing is news. You can use different apps here. So on this home app, those apps will show you the updates. Okay, so that's really cool.
okay so you can set a particular website or particular app suppose cnn or you know ndtv you know whatever the news channel or website that you follow you can do that okay from here now videos and photos you know for this you have to get a you know streaming app like netflix so you can add that here okay next thing is reminders you can create reminders uh, you know for that you have to create uh, you know list here okay on a particular date and time or place you can do that so i believe that uh, there are a lot of things that even i haven't actually explored but you can go through these things and let me know if you come across any particular thing now there are certain shortcuts that you can use like you know set a time set a reminder suppose if you want to set the volume at a particular level suppose you just have to say okay google volume level five right so it will reduce the volume now okay google volume level 10 so it will increase the volume right it also works really fine and another thing is that you can take selfies with it right let me show you that okay google take a selfie Opening app. okay so you can see that it will take the selfie now okay so it's a really cool feature i would say you can use so i believe that uh, in this video you've got to, you know you've got some ideas and some tips and tricks to use your you know google assistant in a better way so i believe this will help you and if it helps then do subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends and help me to build our channel you know and i had already actually uploaded this video but i decided to do it again because the quality of that video was really poor okay so apologies for that so till the next videos cheers guys